fellow makeup fiends this is a bit strange because I'm actually filming this after what you're about to view but I realized that the camera was in the wrong setting but I'd filmed 12 minutes of footage so it's fuzzy a little bit I mean it's not really too bad but it is fuzzy but I am just talking so if you could just please forgive me for this one occasion but I just totally forgot to flick the camera back over but the good news is is that the new camera is on its way very excited about that and it's got the screen so i will be able to see what's going on better so please excuse the fact that the rest of this video may be a little fuzzy please bear with me um and i don't know maybe just do something else and just listen to it if it if it bothers you too much um but it is just another talky video and i'm sorry about that but yeah keep watching hi fellow maker fiends and welcome to day 21 of sizzling september I uh, haven't actually filmed this afternoon, so what happened was um, my mum and dad didn't come and collect me today and I had to go to Debenhams to get my skin matched for the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'll do a little haul tomorrow because I did pick some up, very excited about it. Um, and then by the time I got the bus back there wasn't enough time because what happened was I needed to get some cash out of the machine and it was um, one of these ones that charges around £2.50 to get your cash out and you really do not want to pay two fifty to get money out of a cash machine so I walked right back in the middle of Sunland to go and get some money out and then by the time I got back um, it really wasn't worth me getting the bus all the way back home because it would have been very difficult for me to then get back to get Tony from school so instead um, I just stayed in um, in Horton and yeah so sorry about that and then by the time we got home um, it wasn't long for Alec coming in then so I fed Tony and I fed the dogs and I put some washing in and then Alec came home um, and then my next door neighbour had a, a problem she uh, a huge problem so she needed us to help her out with that um, so we took her to Chelsea Street because she had to do um, she does like um, events she does like the decorating events she does like um, specialist like balloon displays um, arches and things like that uh, and she does all of like the tables um, the tablecloths the chair covers everything she'd like decorate a venue so I find that really fascinating but she had a problem and she needed us to take her down to Chelsea Street and dress some tables with her so we went and we did that um because I help her out from now and you know from time to time uh very close to Mel she's my neighbor she's lovely and her daughter um was born um just I think it was a week after I actually moved in the property she's always called me auntie auntie Lisa so that's really nice and yeah it's lovely great neighbor um well I did have great neighbors um Bill who lived the other way he passed away sadly um I guess it's it's coming up to three years ago since Bill passed away and I was very upset about that because um been neighbours for a long time. Um, I think it would be around twelve years by then. We always had a very funny relationship. Um, he was very funny, Bill, and he made me laugh and he would like you would come home and you would find a note through your door and it would be like, um, my bin has fallen in love with your bin and has kidnapped it. So basically he took the bin in so that nobody could take it because sometimes kids do that. I just don't know how that is fun, but you know, they do it. Um, so he would take it in and then I would get it later on. And it just used to be so funny the way he would just kind of say, right, my bin's in love with your bin. And they've come in the yard and they're playing together very nicely. And it was just, oh, I don't know. He was always great. He was lovely. I could talk to him for hours. and. He was very supportive um, of me when, you know, when things broke down and, and then I was on my own for a while. Um, I was very comforted by knowing that he was next door. Um, yeah, so it was very sad when he died. He was only 60, which I think is quite young, really. Um, but I did get a couple of things from the house. Um, the brother wanted me to take some things. Um, but by then they'd basically done most of the house clearance. There wasn't a great deal there and they were like, well, there's this old typewriter and there's these old phones and they're really dirty and I don't know if you'd really want them and I just love them. And it means that so much more because it's from his because I'm a very sentimental person. And I also took um, a small cabinet, which is what we made into like a seat. And I absolutely love it. And it's just got the sentimentality for me. So I'm a very soft person. 
Um, yeah, so where was I going with this? Oh yes, so by the time we went down there and came back, and then we had a little bit of a bite to eat, I was naughty, I had some fried chicken. Not fried chicken, but it was like southern fried chicken, southern fried style. Um, but I just had two pieces and that's all I had, I didn't have anything else, and I did have a biscuit tonight, and I had have an air all day, I've had a bit of a bad day. Um, but I do allow myself those few treats, so I will, I do have a biscuit. I have one biscuit per week, so there's my biscuit for this week. And... Here's Alec. Hi. Hi. So, and... I've just come to get the dishes. Aww. Skivvy that, yeah. Skivvy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you love, though. I'm not skivvy. <laughs> um, so... I don't know where I was. Oh, yeah. And then... Um, we're in love film and uh, I didn't know but Alec had like put down for me to get a week with Marilyn and he got it on blu-ray so we've just sat and watched that um, because I'm sure if you watch my videos regularly you will know that I'm a huge Marilyn Monroe fan um, I will share some of um, some of my collection with you at some point just basically I've just got photographs and all sorts of things all through the house um, she's bordering on being in every room now <laughs> I just think, uh, yeah, I just adore her. She's an amazing person. Um, so that was really good. So I've really enjoyed um, my week with Marilyn, which of course was um, a Colin Clark. That was who it was with, and he he was um, he became like a producer and and of documentaries of his own. Um, but um, what was I going to say? The book's very good. I actually read the book a very long time ago, and I enjoyed that. Um, so we just watched that um, and I was like about to just you know do something on the laptop and he was like no close that laptop and we just had a bit of us time really um, I'm really enjoying uh, just having Alec here quite as much as I am because um, when he was at the pub we didn't have a lot of this time together and I would always wish for that time uh, and now I have that and he's here so much more and I absolutely love it I love spending time with him and um, we've had a really good laugh tonight <laughs> uh, he always makes me laugh I think laughter is such an important thing isn't it it's, it's huge in a relationship it's just huge in any part of your life really you know some people just I feel a bit sorry for them sometimes they just don't have a, that capacity you know Hmm. I kind of work with somebody who just seems that way. He's like, um, just seems very bitter and angry and it's sarcastic humour and I don't like that. I don't like the kind of humour that you have to, like, get at somebody to be funny, you know, when somebody feels like they have to do like that. Um, like that, he just reminds me, you know, X really, it's awful. But it's just very sort of, oh, you know, what do you like that for? Oh, that's rubbish. I just, I don't like that kind of humour. It just comes across eventually as, I don't know, very bitter and angry and twisted. And yeah, it's just not nice really to constantly be on at somebody like that. And and for you to feel like you can't say that you like something because you know that that person's instantly going to jump on that. Oh, that's rubbish. Oh, and just have a go at you about it, you know? I don't like that. So this is another talky video, so I'm really sorry to anybody who doesn't like these, but honestly, please stick with me because um, tomorrow I plan on doing a tutorial. Uh, I also plan on doing um, a tag that I was tagged to do by the lovely Miss Glamour. So I've got that to do. I've got a wedding bells video to do because I've got some things to show you. You've got some catching up to do. Um, I was going to do something else, I can't remember what. And a sizzling September, which will be something different. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet, but it's not going to be like a talky talky sort of thing. Um, and there may be a, a vlog as well, because we're going out tomorrow um, to get some more things for the wedding. Um, just basically, he needs a tie that matches Tony's dress. So we need to go and do that. Um, yeah, and my dress is away being sorted out as we speak, and I'm very excited. Yay! Cause he was very stressed about the dress 
I was feeling okay about everything else. Everything else just seems to be totally falling in place. And also I've had an offer for somebody to come and do my hair, the other side of 30. Um, if you watch her channel, or if you don't, you should. She's great. Um, she's offered to come and do my hair on the day of the wedding, which is totally amazing. And she, she, it's free of charge, which is just thank you so much that's amazing because you know this is a wedge a, a wedge a wedding on a budget <laughs> it's a wedge a wedding on a budget we've just invented a new word <laughs> so yeah um mm -hmm. <sighs> i don't know if i had anything else to tell you but i've got double wear on now um <sighs> gotta stop saying that i really like it I put it on and because it's medium to full coverage I felt like I was going to be able to feel it on my skin but I can't it just feels really really nice and the match is perfect so I'm really excited and if you bought two products one skincare one makeup then you could get a free gift and the free gift is amazing so I'm going to share all that with you tomorrow I might just do like a mini haul because I did get something from new look as well um, so I might as well just chuck it all together in and do like a little mini haul. I really feel like I want to make it up to you that I've just done these kind of talky videos for the past three nights. So I want to just bombard you with loads of videos this weekend. So I hope you don't mind. Um, another thing also, the gorgeous um, Tallulah of Tiger May 81 messaged me earlier today. And she said that she's had to sub to me again because it's unsubbed her. Now that happens to me sometimes. I'll actually go onto somebody's channel. I'll be thinking, I haven't seen a video from that person for a while. And then I go onto their channel and it's got me unsubbed and I had to resubscribe. It's so annoying. Um, but she hadn't realised, but it unsubscribed her from me. And we've been friends for a long time now. She's lovely. And um, so she messaged me to let me know that. Um, so yes. If you, yeah, I don't know. How do you how do you deal with that? It's not very good, really, is it? It happened to me with Miss Glamorazzi once, and it's also happened to me with Found on Film. So I'm not really too sure what that's about, but it's a bit annoying when that happens. It's a little bit of a glitch. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a shame. So, yeah. He's got the radio on. Yeah, I didn't know what was that was for a second there. So that's about it for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you all soon. I'm going to turn you around and show this picture before you go though because this is um, a brilliant picture. It's actually a card but I love it because it reminds me. Oh, I just found that all in the wrong thing. And there's a sign on there for something you don't see it. But it says dogs must be carried. Look at the size of that dog. Crazy. Bye.